further ado let's jump straight into today's tutorial if you are new to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button please like the video if you do like it leave a comment afterwards uh, let me know how you feel about the content um, if there's anything in particular you want me to focus on just let me know and as you can see today we are doing the crop top skin fade tutorial um, so this is basically a major transformation that I thought it would be a perfect tutorial for everyone because this is a, a go-to hairstyle so first things first is we just gonna comb our clients hair out we're gonna make sure everything is in shape looking nice and neat um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my number two guard so basically I'm just using my number two guard so that um, I can start giving my hair cut some form some shape um, and I'm also just debulking so that when I do come in and start fading it's much easier because there's not as much hair to cut off or work with and for the next step I'm gonna go ahead and take my wild magic club I'm gonna go with no guard, close my lever entirely and we just gonna set in our first our zero guideline and we're gonna do this um, right around our client's entire head we're gonna make sure that our line our first guideline is equal on both sides and at the back as well and in the back I have it at a bit of a drop because um, I don't want my cut to turn out a bit too high so in the back I just prefer putting a bit of a, a drop in my guideline now I'm just gonna go ahead and bold out with my wall magic clip. So next off I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wall designers and I'm gonna take off the bulk amount of it at the bottom so I basically use my wild designers because I set them I zero gap them so they're much sharper than my wild magic clip and they give me a much closer cut so I prefer cleaning up um, my under my ball guideline with uh, my wild designers Now that we got our all our balding cleaned up nicely, I'm um, gonna go ahead and focus on the next step. We're gonna take our wild magic clip once again. We're gonna open our lever entirely and set in our next guideline. And with this guideline, we go up about half an inch and we make sure that we go over the guide the guideline quite a few times so that it's nice and even. So that when you do come in and fade the line out doesn't give you uneven spots and it's much easier to blend the line out as well so next off I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start working our way down again so we're gonna close our lever just a little bit and then we're gonna continuously close our lever until we back to our guard being entirely closed our lever being entirely closed sorry and as you can see i'm using a flick motion and i'm focusing just on the arch guideline that i have created and as you can see i'm just adjusting my clipper just a little bit more and already the line is starting to blend away so we continuously do this throughout the entire cut or let me rather say why we focus on our zero guideline and we do this until our lever is closed once again um, and as you can see we're just using the flick motion and just focusing on knocking that guideline out when your lever is entirely closed you just need to make sure that um, 
you don't press down too hard or that you don't create another guideline so you just gently flick on the zero guideline that you have created and you try not to push your your line up anymore because then it's gonna be so difficult to blend it out you're gonna have an uneven fade so just focus on the guideline itself don't push the guideline up too much So now that you can see our first guideline has disappeared, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start focusing on the next. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our number one guard and then we're gonna open our lever entirely. We're gonna sit in another guideline of half an inch. And as you can see, um, I'm actually continuously using the flick motion because I don't want to create harsh guidelines because when you do create a harsh guideline it's really really difficult to blend it out Now I'm going ahead and I'm closing my lever entirely and I'm just going to continuously focus on the, that bold guideline that we have created um, and as you can see it's starting to soften up and it's really starting to blend away so we continuously uh, we'll continuously cut using the flick motion from left to right uh, right around the client's head um, and as you can see this technique where you create a very soft guideline becomes much easier to blend out next off we're gonna take the 0.5 card our lever entirely open and we're gonna continuously use the, the flick motion we're gonna continuously flick on that guideline just to make sure that it softens up and that our, our fade starts coming together And as you can see in the video I actually sped it up but um, what I am doing is I'm adjusting my clippers my clipper lever so it's not entirely open all the time I'm actually working my way from it being open entirely to me closing it back to zero as we're doing in the, the first step that we did with the half guideline so we just continuously use the same process just it's a different clip um, so we continuously use the same process until our guidelines begin to blend away and our fade starts coming together. And as you can see, I'm really focusing with my corners, the corners of my, my clipper blades. Because, yeah, they get um, into certain spots that are difficult to blend away. When you use your corners, it's much easier to, to blend certain dark spots away. So next off, I'm going to go ahead and do some scissor work on top. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scissors and my comb um, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that my client's hair is nice and saturated make sure it's wet enough so that when I do come through and use my scissors my scissors and my shear my scissors and my comb sorry about that um, it's much easier and much better to cut with, uh, with the client's hair being a bit wet so I'm not gonna do too much talking on on this section in the video so basically we're gonna just have a look and check how um, I cut the top of the scissors I will do a full video and go more into detail uh, on the scissor work with the shear work on top so if you really are interested in me focusing on just the shear work at the top just leave a comment below if you want you can DM me at Enrico underscore the barber 
um so for that matter if you want to see if you want me to go into detail with any steps or anything you can just leave a comment below or dm me on instagram So now we're gonna go ahead back to the we're gonna focus on the fade again. We're gonna grab our number three our number three guard with our lever entirely open and we're gonna continuously use the flick motion. So now we're just gonna soften up that harsh guideline we have going there. Um, so we're gonna continuously use our flick motion, we're gonna start with our lever open and work our way closed once again. Next off, we're gonna grab our number two guard. We're gonna do the exact same process we did previously. Start with our lever open, gradually work our way down to our lever being closed. And as you can already see, as we're lightening up with the short tip guards, our fade is starting to come together nice and slowly. So we'll start off with our lever open, slowly work our way down to our lever closed once again. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our 1.5 guard. Start with our level being open. Focus on the arch guideline. Soften it up. Work with our level being open. We're gonna work with. Uh, we're gonna work until it's closed again. So we're gonna work away from our level being open, and then we're gonna gradually close it. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab our number one card and basically gonna now we're gonna work on detailing. Now start with our lever open. Certain areas we're gonna need our lever closed entirely. So we're just gonna gradually work our way down. Um, we're gonna focus on using the corners of our blades because this is the part where our fade basically transitions. Um, and as you can see, it's already starting to come together really nicely. Yeah, as you can see, I just closed my lever using the corners of my blades because I don't wanna push um, any lines up or I don't wanna create any more guidelines, let me rather say. I'm gonna continuously just use this motion. And as you'll notice with most barbers, uh, when it comes to this stage in the fade, uh, we prefer using the corners of our blades because it helps put, um, let me rather say, it helps give us the detail, it helps put in the detail in the haircut. Uh, it really gives you a much cleaner, crisp finish.
so next off we're gonna focus on um, our hairline our lineup so as you can see on the left hand side my client has a bit of a dense spot so what i did was i sprayed quite a bit of hairspray um, just to make sure that the hair is laying down nice and flat just to keep it in place so i started my lineup from the center and i moved to the right or the left it doesn't really matter but uh, i always prefer starting from the model because it gives you a guide on where you need to keep the lineup so that you don't push it high on each um, on either side so as you can see the dense side already just started uh, it's, it looks full it looks full already so now we're just gonna go ahead and put some detail into the lineup So my client basically wanted to go for a full transformation, a full, a fully different look. Um, so that's why I actually recorded this cut. Okay, he definitely left the barber shop looking like a whole new person. So this technique that I'm using right now, basically, it's for the texture top. This is just gonna give is a, a bit of a messier ruggedy look so that um, it has way more texture to it this is what it looked like earlier and this is what it looks like now so guys if you like the video please leave a comment hit the like button and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well hit the notification bell so that when i do drop some new content you are notified so guys if i should go and tickle the barb i hope you like the video my crop top transformation till the next one peace